Let's say I gave you a magnet and I asked you which end of the magnet is the North Pole and which end of the magnet is the South Pole. Would you be able to tell me that? Well, in this video, we'll be discussing detecting the North South of a magnet. We'll be using a magnetic compass for this. Now, let me explain a little bit about how a compass is constructed before we move forward. So, this is what a compass looks like. Usually, it's within some kind of circular case, okay, and not open like this. A magnetic compass is constructed by taking a very light magnet and suspending it in such a way that it can rotate about the center. It's free to rotate about the center, it can go the whole circle. Okay, so this is the idea of the construction of a compass. Now let's see how we can use this to find the north-south of magnets. Let's say I have a compass and I want to test this particular magnet, this yellow white thing let's say is a magnet, and I want to test which end of this magnet is the north and which end of the magnet is the south. How do I do that? Let's say I bring this magnet closer to the compass. The moment I do that, I see that the south pole of my magnetic compass comes very close to the white part of this magnet. Don't you think that means that the white part of the magnet has to be the north pole of the magnet, right? Pause for a moment and think about why I said that. Well, don't you think if the white part attracted the south pole, it must be the north pole because opposite poles attract, isn't it? Well, and of course, if the white part is the north pole, then it certainly means that the yellow part has to be the south, right? Let's do a similar experiment again. Let's say I have a, another magnet, yes? And let's say I bring this magnet close to the compass. The moment I do that, the north pole snaps in place and points towards this magnet. Now, of course, we know that opposite poles attract. So if the north pole got attracted, definitely this end must be the south pole of the magnet, right? And if this end is the south pole, then the opposite end here must be the north pole, isn't it? So using this logic, we can easily find the north-south of any random magnet if we have a compass with us, right? In fact, if you think about it, we don't even need a compass. All we need is another magnet, right? Think about it. Okay, now let's uh, go and try this in real life. Okay, let's begin. Let's take our horseshoe magnet, bring the south pole close to the compass. Bingo! Don't you notice that the north pole of the compass got attracted to the south pole of the horseshoe magnet? Okay, why don't we switch the direction around? Nice! The south pole of the compass is now attracted to the north pole of the horseshoe magnet. Right? And we can go on doing this. It seems pretty satisfying, right? Okay, let's bring our next magnet, the bar magnet, and keep it close to the compass. Now, one end has a dot. I'm bringing that close to the compass, and I notice that the south pole of the compass gets attracted to this end with the dot, right? That means this end is the north pole, isn't it? Okay, now let me go ahead and switch it around. When I switch it around, you'll notice that the north pole of the compass is getting attached to the bar magnet, right? I can go ahead and play with this, and it is also pretty much fun and satisfying. Okay, next we're going to bring our disc magnets. We're going to attach all four of them, and I'm placing all four of them together. So it's like one large, you know, cylindrical disc magnet. Now, one end is the north pole, one end is the south pole. I don't know which end is which. Okay, so let's test. Nice. You notice that the north pole of the magnetic compass is aligned. If I switch it, the south pole gets aligned, right? So it's pretty obvious that this end is the north pole, this end is the south pole of our cylindrical disk magnet. Nice. If we switch it again, obviously the compass is going to switch and that is very satisfying to do, isn't it? Okay, nice. Let's now move on to the next type of magnet, and that is the ring magnet. So I bring the ring magnet in. The ring magnet is like a disc magnet with a hole. Okay, so one flat face is the north pole, one flat face is the south pole. Keep watching the movement of the magnetic compass, and then try to predict which end is the south, which end is the north. I pause the video here. I'd like you to take a guess. Which end is the north, which end is the south? 
yes you're right the end closer to the magnetic compass is the south pole and the other end is the north pole okay now let's uh, just play with it a little bit i'm going to spin the magnet and yes the magnetic compass goes crazy we have one more type of magnet that we're going to discuss that is a earphones magnet yes every speaker has a magnet inside and so do these earphones so let's go ahead and test wow so the north pole is getting attracted to this side of the earphones and the south pole to the other side right interesting okay that's it for this video thanks for watching